Canada's biggest abandoned house. Life's math is simple. The richer you get, the bigger you dream. And if you don't hold the record for the biggest golden chain, you try to own the biggest house. I mean, Peter Grant could tell you for himself. This Canada's, at that time, the richest man, bought a 43-acre plot of land and made plans to build a huge custom mansion. But turns out life's full of surprises. And while we make plans, God laughs. So what exactly happened with Canada's biggest house? Find out the awful truth of how it looks now and get your tissues ready, cause it might get emotional. The beginning of a dream. The owner of Grant Forest Products Corporation, Peter Grant began work on his dream back in 2005. At that time, everything seemed to go the way he planned. His company became North America's third largest supplier and he was Canada's 87th wealthiest person with a net worth of 304 million. So he did what every rich person does. He bought a plot of land on the picturesque shores of Lake Tamiskaming for $88,000 and began working on his dream mansion. Nothing wrong with that, right? But he didn't want just an average house. He wanted to build the biggest house Canada has ever seen. And that brave ambition led to his downfall. So you're asking, what actually happened? Well, let me tell you, the global financial crisis happened. So in 2009, Peter Grant found himself filing for court protection from creditors with a debt of $479 million. The workers left the unfinished mansion in the middle of the day, and it was put up for sale in 2010 for $20 million. However, it looked like there is some light at the end of a tunnel. An unknown Toronto company snapped up this mansion to be and people started to think that in the end, it will be finished according to its intended glory. Well, let us save you some suspense. The mysterious company failed to pay the taxes and the property was, once again, put on the market. Another dead end? Not exactly. Surprisingly, about the last hour before it was sold off for taxes, the company somehow managed to get the money and paid their debts. And today, they are still the official owners of this house, even if it's just on paper. But let's be honest, the only thing they've done for this mansion was to install security cameras, which did not help, and the place has become a popular location of the local vandals for a long time now. A shell of what it could have been. When you step into the mansion, it takes little imagination to see the potential of this house. But as you can see, with every year, the unfinished building loses its value. However, we're not here to shed tears, and while it remains an uninhabitable shell of a building, there are still hints of what could have been in the mansion had been completed. Just take a look at it. What could have been? A stunning fireplace surrounded by a brick wall, or the huge curved window that offers one-of-a-kind views of the serene lake? I mean, I know somebody would have killed for this view. And also the pool is hidden under the house. Just imagine it filled with turquoise water, allowing you to unwind after a long day. But let's get back to reality. If you look closely, you can spot a hidden spiral staircase that takes us to the mysterious first floor of Peter Grant's mansion. Don't get too excited. This area is just full of building material left behind in a hurry by the workers. Only the stunning wood paneling in the back wall offers a glimpse of what the owner had in mind. The higher we go, the more of a mess the house is, and the upper level is even emptier than the lower one. We can only guess that this was the spot that was supposed to impress Grant's hosts. The peaceful and panoramic views are hard to find. It's just really sad that they're put to waste. Designed as a playground for the rich, it is now more of a playground for vandals, which is no surprise when the door has been left ajar, allowing anyone to enter. Most of the glass exterior has been destroyed, and you can see graffiti all over the place. And no, that's not art. Just imagine walking into this abandoned mansion in the night and seeing a do not enter sign written alongside the corridor entrance. Um, no thank you. I think it's time to go. Even if it could have been the biggest mansion in Canada, it's more of a concrete shell in desperate need of a big cash injection to turn the architect's vision into a luxury lakeside home. So will this abandoned mansion have a happy ending? We'll see. Before you go, don't forget to comment and subscribe so you can learn more about the estate world.